five weirdly fascinating facts about Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, the founder, CEO, and president of Amazon, is regarded as one of the greatest success stories of the internet era. Jeff Bezos is aiming to be the first billionaire to cross the finish line in the billionaire space race. Bezos intends to launch a rocket developed by space exploration company Blue Origin in July. Many individuals are now questioning who Jeffrey Preston Bezos is. His work at Amazon may be recognizable to you. He is the company's founder and former CEO as of July 5th. Perhaps you consider him the world's most obscenely wealthy individual. If you're a true intellectual, you're probably most familiar with him as the owner of the Washington Post. Maybe every time a prime van careens down your street, you find yourself singing the Bo Burnham tune. But there's a lot more to Jeff Bezos' thinking than that, and we at Intelligencer are here to tell you about it. Bezos, on the other hand, came from humble beginnings before becoming the world's richest person. Bezos, the son of a teen mother and an absent father, showed promise from a young age. Let's take a peek at five of his oddly amazing facts. Number five, his idea of interstellar colonization is genuinely alarming. The solar system could easily support a trillion humanity. With a trillion humans, we'd have a thousand Einsteins and a thousand Mozarts, as well as endless resources from solar power and other sources. That's the world I want my great-great-grandchildren's grandchildren's to inherit, Bezos stated in the 2018 interview about why Blue Origin is the most important thing he's ever done. So far, everything's gone well right? By the way, he said, I believe that, in that time frame, we will have moved all heavy industry off of Earth, and Earth will be zoned residential and light industrial. I can easily picture Jeff Bezos' hairs pulling a reverse asylum, with a massive empire of space sweatshops shielded from the prying eyes of bothersome Earthling bureaucrats. Number 4. Many people make more in a week, but Jeff Bezos does it in just a second. Based on his growing net worth, over the last three years, Bezos makes almost $8.99 billion every month, $2.25 billion per week, or $321 million per day, according to Vizaska.com. You might be surprised to see how much Bezos earns per second. Vizaka deconstructs the math to reveal that Bezos earns $3,715 every second. According to the Department of Labor Bureau of Statistics, the medium full-time weekly wage for most Americans is $984 per week, or $24.60 per hour. And it's a lot more than Amazon's median wage, which was just $29,007 per year, or $557.82 per week in 2020, according to Business Insider data. When you include Bezos' $1.6 million in other income, he made 58 times as much in 2020 from Amazon compensation alone. Number three, his spaceships are phallic to the extreme. Every few years or so, there's a news cycle about how Jeff Bezos' rocket looks like a dog. Record noted that the billionaire had launched a quote, real life version of Austin Powers' penis rocket when Blue Origin published a video of their first flight in 2015. Earlier last week, Bezos stated that he would take an 11 minute Blue Origin mission to space, bringing the rockets back into the spotlight. Bezos intended to be the first billionaire to leave Earth, but Virgin Galactic CEO Richard Branson recently declared that he'll beat him to it. Blue Origin CEO Bob Smith told the New York Times that Branson isn't traveling into space, saying, we wish him a nice and safe flight, but they're not flying above the Kármán line, and it's a completely different experience. One Twitter user nicknamed Bezos' spacecraft, while Stephen Colbert joked, if this was on a CBS program, we'd have to blur it. Number two, Amazon was created by Jeff Bezos in his garage. Bezos founded Amazon from his garage in Seattle after graduating from Princeton University and abandoning his financial job. Bezos and a few early colleagues began building software for the Amazon website in Bezos' garage after publishing a prototype and requesting 300 friends to beta test it. Because the room was so limited, Bezos had to have meetings at nearby Barnes & Noble bookshop. Later, the tiny group expanded their business and moved into a two-bedroom residence. Mackenzie Bezos, Bezos' ex-wife, was also instrumental in the founding of Amazon in its early years. After the pair split in 2019, after 25 years of marriage, Mackenzie received 25% of the couple's Amazon shares, which at the time was around $38 billion. Bezos intended to call his company something more magical sounding, but Amazon's first lawyer, Todd Tarbert, advised him against it. Cadabra, Tarbert explained, sounded a little too similar to cadaver, especially over the phone. Finally, the creator and future billionaire chose Amazon, calling his company after the world's largest river because he was constructing the world's largest bookshop. Number one. He, like many of his famous peers, is embroiled in a sexting scandal. The National Enquirer published sex reportedly exchanged by the Amazon entrepreneur to his girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez, in 2019. I want to smell you, take a deep breath of you. I'd like to hug you firmly. I'd like to kiss you on the lips. 
I'm in love with you, he allegedly wrote. I am in love with you. I adore you, a live girl, says the narrator. I'll show you with my body, lips, and eyes as quickly as possible. Yes, you're still alive, gal. Bezos, in a brilliant PR move, got ahead of the news by writing a Medium essay outlining the publication's extortion and blackmail attempt. It included reported correspondence from the Inquirer's top editor, alleging that a below-the-belt selfie was among the Bezos photographs in their possession. However, according to a recent Bloomberg piece, this is not the case. While Sanchez's brother allegedly revealed her and Bezos' true private text to the tabloid, the below-the-belt photo he sent them was allegedly obtained from a pornographic website. That's all for today. See you next time with a lot more. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.